Hi, this is Miss McPhee, and it is Wednesday, October 4th, 2017, and this is a video for our Math 6 classes, periods 1, 2, and 3. We um, have been working on integers on the coordinate plane, and today we introduced finding the distance between points, and that's what your homework tonight is asking you to practice. So directions do ask you to plot and label the points for this octagon on the coordinate plane and then connect the points to create the octagon. We're gonna find the length of each segment and then the length of the whole course or the whole octagon. And I'm gonna start that with you. So my point A is at positive two, positive eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've talked about in class, and a lot of you really seem to master, that the first number tells us left or right, left if it's negative, and right if it's positive. And our second value tells us to go up if it's positive, or down if it's negative. And that's how we write down our ordered pairs, our x value along the x-axis, and then our y value along the y-axis. That's my point A, and so I don't get confused, I'm gonna make sure I label it right away. And I'm going to put a little X or check by it so I don't lose my place in my paper. Point B is over 10 and then up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's my point B. It does ask us to connect the points. So you can use a ruler or any straight edge. I'm going to use a piece of paper folded in half. You could use the edge of your agenda or the edge of a notebook. But something that's going to give you a firm edge and you're going to connect points A and B. And then at the bottom, it asks you to find the length of that segment AB. So I'm going to count. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units to get from A to B. And so I'll write 8. I'm done with B. And now I'm going to go to C. I'm going over 10 and then up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll plot it. I'll label it C, and I'll use my straight edge to connect. And um, I've been teaching for a long time, so it's obvious to me if you're using a straight edge or not. So please just take a minute to make a straight edge. Use a bookmark if you don't have a ruler. So my segment BC, if I count from B to C, I go one, two, three numbers. We also talked today that if this point was 10, 8, and this point was 10, 5, we could find the difference between those two numbers. And that also gives us the 3. So you're going to continue plotting your points. As you plot them, you're going to label them. As you label them, you're going to write down the segments. When you're all done, at the very bottom, it does ask for the whole perimeter, which means you're going to add up all these values, 8 plus 3 plus the other values that you get, and that's going to give you the perimeter or the outside edge of this octagon. Hope that helps. If you're doing a great job in class. We are so enjoying working with you this year, and we will talk to you later. Bye.